Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Hound from the uh, Game of Thrones Legacy Collection. Uh, this guy is pretty cool, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. So uh, here it is, pretty standard for the Game of Thrones figures. It's got his house emblem here down the bottom corner. On the sides, there's nothing really. And on the back, it shows a picture of him from the show. And it also lists the other figures that were released uh, in this wave. Uh, so, like I said, pretty standard packaging for this guy. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure itself. So he stands, let's see here, just, uh, well, let's see, about six and three quarter inches tall. So he's got some, some real size to him, but I think that's definitely accurate. He doesn't look too big, but he's also very, um, very tall like he was in the show. And he does come with a pretty good array of accessories. Go ahead and show those off here. The first one here is his helmet. Uh, really cool looking, and it's made from a soft rubber so you can uh, squish it onto his head here. Let's see if I can do it on camera. You do have to kind of wrangle it on. Let's see. There we go. Uh, but once it's on, it looks amazing. A really cool looking accessory. Um, this is probably how I'll keep mine displayed, so that's pretty cool. Uh, he comes with two swords. Uh, let's see here. The first one here is shorter, uh, and it goes in the uh, scabbard on his on his belt. And this other one here is larger, and it goes on his back. Um, unfortunately, the larger one for me was broken straight out of the packaging, and because of where it broke, um, it's been a pain to try and fix it so uh, just be aware that your sword may come broken uh, but this one here is my favorite anyway and it wasn't broken so uh, I guess I'm fine with it I'm a little irritated that you know it didn't work because this one here also looks amazing um, I'm just kind of frustrated with that as far as the figure itself goes he's got pretty decent articulation he's got a double ball peg in the head um, so he gets a nice range of motion, even with the helmet on. He's got ball hinge shoulders, and as, I'm, as I've mentioned before, uh, these figures are very delicate. Uh, for some reason, they use clear plastic for the hinges instead of normal plastic, so they break very easily. Uh, so, in theory, you do have a good range of motion on the shoulders, but I don't want to force it. He does have soft shoulder pads so that they don't get in the way. He's got a swivel here, a hinged elbow, which on mine is totally frozen, and I don't want to break it, so I'm just going to leave it there. He's got ball pegs in the wrist, so pretty limited range of motion there, and again, I don't want to force it because I don't want to break it. He's got no uh, waist articulation. He's got T-jointed hips that work really well. I mean, they... You, you can pretty much get them in any pose uh, you would want. He's got a thigh swivel, double jointed knees that I'm not even going to attempt to move because I don't want to break them. Uh, but in theory, they have good range of motion. And he's got hinged ankles with an ankle rocker. So uh, just like all of the other Game of Thrones figures, in theory, this guy is really amazing. Um, but in practice, they come off as being kind of fragile and I've had tons of problems with this guy, um, like his scabbard here. It, it fell off, like it, it wasn't glued on securely enough, and even after I glued it on, it still doesn't want to stay. So um, just be aware that if you buy this guy, he's not going to be perfect. Um, you know, he will, you know, he will work for just standing on your shelf and looking, you know, intimidating, but aside from that, you're not going to get him in too many poses because you'll be afraid of breaking him. So uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. And I guess I'll see you later.